Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Pegasus 172nd scale Panzer 38T light tank that we're going to be building for the battle for the Reichstag dior diorama. And last episode, last episode, I keep saying that. Might as well say, tune in next time at the end of the videos. <laughs> but, uh, we finished step three, and we did about half of step four. Now all we need to do is uh, attach the hooks to the front of the hull, and put the whole thing together, and we'll be finished with this one. So right here we got the front of our hull. I need to clean that up a little bit because I cut it off the screw in the last one thinking it was the, the upper part. It was not. And that goes this direction with the hooks at the bottom. And our hooks should be here. And they are. Hopefully, so I can see them. Like so. And that completes that sprue, so we put that off to the side. Don't need it anymore. And then I'm going to do it the same way I did the other one. We're going to put them in without the glue, so that way we can push them all the way in. And if we need to clean up the openings, we can. Was a little tough to push through, but I think that's because I let's use these. It's because I didn't clean the. No, that's not gonna work. There we go. Good thing I uh, put them in without glue. That might have set before I pushed them all the way in. And then we get this one. Maybe. Hopefully it fits good. This one's a little easier to get in there. Like so. Excellent. So to make sure that they stay flat in there, I'm gonna glue them on the outside first. That way I don't push them through accidentally. Move on both sides of that one. Kind of moved over, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna have to hold this one in the back and push it over because it wants to bend. So we'll just get this side quick. I can do both sides with glue. I want to make sure it stays straight or 90 degrees from the the front face here because it wanted to was basically wanting to do this instead of sit like that. And that's set up good. Looks good on the outside. Let's get some glue on them. From the inside. All right. Now that we have that, it almost looks like we need to attach the front and back first. Let's go with the back. Or do I want to put the front, the top on? If I don't put the top on, I, there's chances that I can mess that up. They won't be straight. And I don't want gaps between my front and back and upper hull. So let's go ahead and glue the top on. We're going to make an executive decision here. Because they don't really tell you which one goes first. It just shows them all where they go. Down in there like that. Yeah. 
Hopefully I won't regret this decision, but that kind of looks like the way you should do it. Maybe not. <laughs> I might have made it ten times harder than it needed to be. Let's see. Oh no. Not for the back piece. That's good for the back piece. Pops out a little bit. I can hold it into place. So let's test fit that front piece. See if we get the same results. Oh yeah. Yeah. That'll work. A little bit of have to hold it in good. There we go. Press it in. Now I have to give my some glue on my um, little piece there again because I kind of bent it with my finger trying to press it in. So let's hold that and let's get that front hole glued in. Sides. Yeah, that's not bad. And I'll press that in there just to make sure and hit it with the glue as well. Like I said, I kind of kind of was bending that, so I'm gonna do the two hooks again with some glue on the side, just in case I fractured them to the point where they would break off. These are gonna be damaged tanks too, so I probably shouldn't be worrying too much about it. Gonna paint them up like they were. Is burn up tanks, that destroyed tanks is what I guess I'm trying to say. Because I don't think they had 38 T's toward the end of the war. This was an early, early tank. I just needed something, something to show damaged vehicles on my scene. Let that set up a bit, and then we will get the sides and top. Cool. Like that, and then I'll just kind of hit the sides too. And probably get them hooks again. Wouldn't hurt it. And around the hooks. There we go. Strengthen them up a little bit. Okay, that's... Just need to put our turret on, it looks like. Put the glue off to the side. And they just, they have little nubs here and you just gotta turn it a certain way till it pops down and then rotate it in and it'll lock into place. And there we have it. That's our 172nd scale Panzer 38T. Very simple build. The only difficult part about these is the tiny parts, to me anyway. Uh, so I'd like to thank everyone for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.